guys, I'm Jess and welcome back to Magical Miss You. Today we have got a mega pin haul. So these are all the pins that I got on my recent holiday to Disney World. I've got some Disney World pins and some pins and mystery pins from Box Lunch and Hot Topic as well to include. So I am very, very excited. I would like to say at the start of this video that there will be no vlogs from the trip. I've just got um, the hauls. This was the first Disney World trip that I have had in a while and the first holiday I had taken with my boyfriend. So I just wanted to go there, enjoy it and immerse myself in it. And I will consider doing vlogs at the next Disney World trip that I go on. But for this trip, I just wanted to enjoy myself. But we have got plenty of pin content for this video. Some mystery pins that I'll be opening in a future video. And another haul to come along with hopefully some reviews. So I think what we will start with, because it's not as much and get it out the way, is the box lunch and hot topic haul. So this here is my box lunch haul. I did not get very much in box lunch. From a mystery pin point of view, I wasn't very impressed with the box lunch that I went into. And from a bag clip point of view, it was just terrible. There was nothing that I wanted and was willing to open on the channel for you guys. Nothing took my interest. There was, I believe, one mystery pin set that I could have bought that I contemplated, but I decided not to. I do regret a little bit not getting a couple of boxes, but it is what it is. One set that I was interested in, they did have within the store, but they only had one box of it. So I decided just to bypass. I did manage to, in box lunch, get two of their Disney 100 pins, which I believe are a recent release. Now, these cost 12 twelve dollars and ninety ninety cents that is minus tax because obviously if you are not from america you may not know they do on top of things add tax in some states in america now the first 100 one that i got is this winnie the pooh and this is a lenticular pin which is very pretty. Oh, I don't though I think it just changes from colour to faded. It is very, very pretty. I love the back of card as well. That's a stunning addition to the Winnie the Pooh collection. And then I had to get this also lenticular one of young Carl and Ellie and this was also $12.90 from Box Lunch part of the Disney 100 absolutely stunning I love the silver rim on these gorgeous now they did have some other Pixar pins individual like open edition I would say pins that did take my interest but I decided um, not to go for those I was trying to be good and the priority were all the Baymax pins that they had for sale and the three Baymax pins that I picked up were $9.99 and they're a lounge fly pin so here this is a Baymax with some dogs how cute i cannot like leave anything baymax and then here we have got baymax with a fish tank this was the same price as the other one and also a lounge fly 
these lounge flight backer cards as you can see are very plain we could not unfortunately in the box lunch find like a clearance bin my mum did look but there wasn't anything in there on clearance we have got Baymax here and some birds this is the final pin that I got in box lunch also a lounge fly pin and this was the same price as the other two I'm unsure whether he is like focusing which is why I'm holding it up again for you guys just in case he didn't now the next lot of pins were from Hot Topic and in Hot Topic I do believe I did not get any individual pins all I got I believe were mystery pins so the first mystery pin set I got does not state that they are lounge fly and I have a feeling these are probably from Bioworld or something but they are a Marvel pin set you've got the characters on the side there this will be its own separate unboxing so I will not give too much away on it. The next set that I got, oh, before I move on to this one, I got four boxes of this. This next set is a Harry Potter mystery pin set. And these are the snow globes. And they are, I believe... They have like house emblems in and there's like the Hogwarts castle and Hedwig. I got three boxes of those. And then this is the next set I got, another Harry Potter set. And these are different crests. So we've got house crests, a Hogwarts crest and like a Harry Potter one and I do only have three of these both of these I picked up hoping that they were six of the same set but I discovered that they were like two pin sets three of each which I am grateful for very grateful for this set I have discovered is on a UK website called get ready comics so if you are in the UK and interested in this, you can purchase it. These were $9.99 cents. The Marvel ones were the same price. Now, the next set I got, I only got two boxes of these. And these were $12.90. And these are... Disney Lounge Flight and these are the Villains Lenticular and I got two boxes of these because I'm only after two characters and that is Yzma and Madame Mim and Madame Mim you hardly ever see in Lounge Flight set so it was a much per must purchase I did watch the Game Boys recently or in their Halloween series I believe actually open these and the quality they were saying was not the best but as oh, sorry I'm throwing things everywhere as I have only got two boxes of this these will be YouTube shorts so make sure you're subscribed so you're notified when those come out now the last set that I picked up was a set I have been desperate for I even on a UK pin trading group put a post out to see if someone had these. I did get a message from somebody I think saying that they had them but it fell through because I could not afford the price they were asking for. And this is a Winnie the Pooh mystery pin set and this is the 100 Acre Wood Map Puzzle Pins. I have no idea if that's focusing and do apologise if it's not. Now, I only got six boxes of these because there are six pins to collect. I was trying to be really good and just go for the amount that was in there that I needed. Um, 
I believe that is everything from Box and Hot Topic. So we're now going to move on to Disney Parks in this big bag. Now I do believe there is a smaller bag in here of pins as well. But as we were just talking about mystery pins, I will show you the mystery pins that I purchased from the park. Now, a story about these. I, in all the parks, in each of the parks, found a lot of mystery pins that took my interest. I really wanted the Munchling Pin Series 1 to 3, but at 35 dollars I didn't know if I could justify that and I at the beginning of the week said to myself I do know there is a pin store like a pin traders and pin store in Disney Springs and I knew that Friday afternoon on our sadly our checkout day we were going there to have a browse and I could pop in the shop and I thought I will be good and I will wait till then and I will buy whatever is in that pin trader store. Expecting there to be most of the things that I was interested in and the Christmas pins that I was actually looking for. Now that shop did not impress me at all. They only I think had two mystery pin sets other than the magical mystery pin bags that I was interested in. One of them being Munchling Series 2, which I, after learning the price, wasn't comfortable to pay and I'm considering to actually just trade for who I need. But I was only able to pick up this set, which I got two boxes of, and this is the Joey Chu Mystery Pin Set. These are $9.99 and there are your options on the side. The Christmas pins that I was looking for for this year, the Holiday Reefs and the Ugly Sweaters, were not seen in the parks. I saw the holiday wreaths in a shop in Magic Kingdom and I contemplated them and was considering buying them. And mum said, oh, they'll probably still be here. We're coming back. And I thought, I'm going to the pin shop in Disney Springs. They'll probably be there. They were not. I was very disappointed with the pin shop in Disney Springs and that has taught me that when I see a pin I like to get maybe one or two boxes and if they are then in the Disney pin store in Disney Springs and I've got enough money to pick up extra I can but a lot of the sets that I did see actually a few of them I have already opened on the channel. There was a Winnie the Pooh set available that I do slightly regret not picking up and a lovely Animal Kingdom puzzle pin set that I should have looked into. Both the Christmas sets that I was interested in are on Shop Disney UK and they are on discount and if I can get them fingers crossed next week in boxing day sales i will and i will probably just have to put them back for next vlogmas um but i am very grateful that i got these there are three pins in here that i am actually interested in and we've got two boxes so four pins hopefully we'll be able to get this will be its own video in the new year and I'm very excited for that. These I do believe came on Shop Disney UK and I didn't get them. So I am really grateful to have them and they are a nice unique set and style. So I'm very happy about those. 
and as I was trying to in that store be good with my spending I got some magical mystery pin bags now the first set I got two bags of and these are from series 22 they are the cars I got two bags because I'm after two pins and then I got one bag of series 13 which are the notepads and I only got one bag of this because I'm only after one pin if you have been a long time subscriber to the channel you can probably work out which one I am after but I am very happy to have these now on a UK website called Stew Pins they have started selling some of these which I believe the owner of Stew Pins picked up on a Disney trip so I may be getting more because these are perfect for YouTube Shorts and Instagram Reels. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel and follow me on Instagram if you want to see these and see who I got. We are now moving on to actual pins. I'm going to start with the big bag and then go on to the little one as we're already in the big bag now some of these pins i believe in in here came from the disney pin shop now i do have a funny feeling hang on a second that i may be missing Um, some pins so if if I am I will include those in an extra haul and do an extra video but the first pin I will show you is a pin that I did pick up in the pin store in Disney Springs but you can also purchase this when you come into the imagination shop after being on the journey to imagination figment ride and this is a light bulb with figment swings and it says dream finding since 1983 how stunning is that and my figment collection is very low so this is a nice addition they did have another figment pin but unfortunately i did not pick that up now in that this pin actually I believe I picked up in Epcot in the pin trading store there and this is the I believe part of the supporting cast series and this is Sword in the Stone and this was $7 and $17.99 and it is stunning this is a pin I've been after for so so long and I'm so glad I was able to pick it up. The previous pin that I showed you was a silver price tag which if I remember correctly I think was around $12.99 but isn't that stunning I love the colours you've got Archimedes, Madame Mim Merlin and Wart in their different characters that they change into so stunning now the next pins I will show you are the other sword in the stone pins that I collected and these were pins that were released while we were away and just reading this I didn't realize they're for the 60th anniversary these are limited release so this is of Wart, Caleb, and I can't remember this guy's name, but his Wart's foster father, I guess you would say. And this is Wart pulling the sword from the stone. And this also was $17.99. And I picked this up at the pin trading store in Disney Springs. And this is limited release. We have another limited, oh this is limited edition 
and this is of Wart and Merlin when they are squirrels. How stunning is this and it's got a beautiful dangly element and this is $19.99 as it's limited edition and I will take this off the back of card to see if I can see a limited edition size for you guys. This is limited edition of 2000. That is quite a big limited edition size I must say and so there we go there's that beautiful pin again now I have another limited release pin here actually that was according to this for Walt Disney Day 2023 I did not realize that was a thing and this is of Mickey Mouse painting Walt Disney and that is stunning. I'm looking to hopefully start a Walt Disney pin collection of like the man himself, but isn't that stunning? This was $17.99 and as I probably just said a second ago, is limited release. Now we've got two pins here that are of a pink price tag which I believe was $16.99 and these were for the Disney 100 anniversary we've got Pooh Bear and Woody I'm so happy to have these these are stunning the only one from the Disney 100 now that I believe I am missing is Grogu which I would like for my boyfriend but we regularly saw these in the shops and every time we saw one mum pointed out this one and said do you have it and I said no and she kept commenting on the Black Panther one because mum knows I'm a big Black Panther fan and I turned around and went mum I have that mum I have that <laughs> But because as soon as I get pins, they often get stowed away in my folder, my pin folios. Mum doesn't necessarily know if I have it or not. But these are absolutely stunning and so worth it. I did not manage to get any pin with the Disney 100 actually on the pin. So if anyone has one of those for trade, please message me on Instagram and we can organise something. So let's go into actually some of the Winnie the Pooh pins that I picked up as we've just seen Pooh Bear. Now this pin you may recognise I have got two pins in the same design one with Winnie the Pooh and Christopher Robin and one with Tigger and Roo. And this one I got to complete my set of three. This is Piglet and Eeyore. And this is part of the 100 Acre Wood sort of map collection that they did. Isn't it stunning? This is an open edition. So, so stunning. And it is of a pink price tag, which I think, as I said, is $16.99. Then we have got this set which is $19.99 and it is two pins and it's of one of Christopher Robin in his raincoat and I don't have very many pins of him. And then we've got this stunning umbrella with kangaroo, rabbit and tigger. How stunning. I absolutely love it this that is an open edition as well and this actually released I believe just before we got to the park or while we were at the park and this is another supporting cast pin and it is the Winnie the Pooh one I'm not quite sure how you can call this supporting cast considering the are uh, what I would consider a lot of these the main characters 
Um, I would say it would have been nice maybe if they had put Gopher on there because I would consider him sporting cast. But this is absolutely stunning. I love that Christopher Robbins represented and my favourite Rue. And this was $17.99 as well. <coughs> now, I did get one pin in the Disney springs pin shop to represent toy story land because it was my favorite or one of my favorite visits in the trip and we ate in the most amazing restaurant the roundup rodeo barbecue which i will state if you have an allergy is an amazing restaurant to eat in they are so so accommodating there are so many things that are allergy friendly. They like seem to cater for all allergies and I was able to actually have tater tots which I've never ever had in my life. And it was just amazing experience. Just so amazing. And the pin that I chose to go for was one of the green army men and it says Sarge says let's play this is absolutely stunning there were quite a few other Toy Story lamb pins that took my interest um, but I only got myself one this is of a silver price tag so $12.99 I believe $12.99 but isn't that absolutely stunning now, all the pins in the park that I saw that took my interest that I did not buy, I have taken pictures of on my phone so that I can put them up on pin trading groups as an iOS and hopefully trade for them. Now, we have two pins here that only two that were bought for my boyfriend, Lewis. Now, the first pin is this open edition pin that we purchased within Galaxy's Edge. Now, I do have a feeling this one isn't closing very well, so hopefully it's not broken. But this pin is for Black Spire Outpost, which is, I think, sort of the setting for Galaxy's Edge from one of the recent movies. And it is done in this antique sort of metal. It says Black Spire Outpost and then you've got a beautiful picture of the place here. And this was a pink price tag. And then the last Star Wars pin that we picked up was this one of R2-D2 being carried. I'm not quite sure who's carrying him please let me know in the comments down below but this is a yellow price tag so I believe this is $14.99 very stunning those are the only two Star Wars pins that took his interest anything else he didn't have an interest in at all now the next pin that I'm going to show you before we get to my character warehouse purchases is for the resort that we stayed at this was $14.99 and this says see the keys Disney's old key west now I wanted to get this pin because it is where we stayed and it is where we usually stay every Disney trip and I absolutely love it so stunning they do have or did have for this year a christmas old key west pin but i did not purchase that i could not see it anywhere and then was told on a pin trading group the friday night after leaving disney that i should have asked a cast member and now I've heard they were sold out. So the next pin that I'm going to show you guys, the camera just cut out on me, so annoying, was leftover from the Walt Disney World 50th, 
was $17.99 down to $6.99. And this is a pin with Mickey Mouse on the front, Walt Disney World. And you open it and it's got the Magic Kingdom castle, so Cinderella's castle. How stunning. I thought this would be great for my parks and attractions pin collection. And the last pin that I want to show you that's not Marvel, because I did a Marvel splurge in Character Warehouse, was a limited edition pin that actually I do believe was a really recent release for Halloween possibly and they went to the character warehouse quite quickly and this one is the Yzma one and it's called Unlocking Evil. This was 19.99. I can't remember if in the character warehouse it was the same price or not. I don't think. No, I don't have the receipt in here so I can't check. But if we take this pin off its backer card, as you can see at the back here it has a hinge which means you can lift up the lock and push it back down again, which I think is really cool. The key, unfortunately, does not fit in the hole. But I don't know if you can see there, it may not show very well. There is a llama on the top of the key and you've got her potion bottle in the front there. So, so stunning. Now, this series was done for the Disney villains, and there are other Disney villains, I believe, available within this series. So, so stunning. Now, the next lot of pins are Marvel pins. The first one that I traded for, or not traded for, that I bought in Character Warehouse was a limited release, $7.99 down to $6.99 and it is a Captain America pizza pin and it says we deliver all day and at the $6.99 price I could not pass it up, so, so stunning. Now, I have not mentioned, or it's not a bit, yes it is, I have not mentioned and I should mention, on most Disney pins now, they have, if it will focus, this little Mickey head. And this Mickey head is a little gemstone. And if you have that on the back of your pin, any pin that they sell now, that is a way to identify that your pin is authentic, which is really handy and is supposed to stop or help stop people faking them. Now, the last four pins are Black Panther pins. Now, this pin apparently is a Disney pin from Her Universe, which I did not realise. It's a limited edition. $9.99 down to $8.99 and this is of Shiri and it says innovate. How stunning is that? So gorgeous. Oh you can tell that this well this is a Marvel pin because they do not have the Mickey back. I'm just going to pull this off and see if I can see a limited edition size for you. Oh, this is limited edition of 3000. But she is so, so, so stunning. She is definitely one of my favourite female superheroes. I absolutely love Shiri. Then the next pin that I've got is an artist series from the Marvel series World of Wakanda. This was also $7.99 down to $8.99. 
and this pin was designed by Natachka Butch Toes, I've probably pronounced the name really wrong and she designed this amazing black pants pin and it is absolutely stunning. I will hold this here a second so you can read the information on the back if you choose to. But how stunning is that? And that was a steal at that price. I could not pass it up. Now, the next pin is a Black Panther Wakanda Forever pin. That now looking at it, I'm worried that I trade that I've got this. But if I have it, will make a great trader. And this is a Wakanda Forever pin. It says Black Panther Wakanda Forever with Shiri, Mbaku, Okoye and Nakia, I think. Stunning. So stunning. And this is limited release and was reduced $8.99. Now, the last pin of this haul is an Iron Heart pin from Black Panther Wakanda Forever, also limited release. How stunning is that? I absolutely love it. And at $8.99, who could not pass that up? So, guys, please let me know what you thought of all the pins and mystery pins that I have purchased and shown you in this haul. Um, if you enjoyed this mega haul, please also let me know. This is the first mega haul that I have actually done and I hope to do more of them in the future. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe down below and turn on that notification bell so you're notified when more magical mischief is coming your way. I really hope you enjoyed this pin trading haul or pin haul I should say and I will see you very soon guys. Bye!